Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I wanted to hop on here and just share quickly this spring slash probably partly summer journal that I made. You'll see the outside. It has that kind of faux leather look. I don't know if you can see it really well here, but um, it was inspired. I watched Izzy B Craft Creations and she did the work with the um, cardstock where she combined water and glycerin and then balled up the cardstock itself and then flattened it back out and actually did that a couple times and then you emboss it. And so I don't know if you can see there, I did some embossing. It's, there's a flower embossing on there. It didn't work terribly well in some spots, but I didn't use, I didn't really have the correct plate for this um, thickness of cardstock, but it worked decently well to pick up enough of it. And you'll notice just some, I not only used some blacks and browns in it, but also some purples just to kind of pull that out. But then the spine, I actually just, that's just, um, computer paper that I printed out this image onto and just mod podged all of it together so that it will stay together. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through. You'll see some stitching throughout and I don't know how much talking I'll actually do throughout it, but I'm just going to flip through it real quickly and hopefully just kind of give some ideas of pockets that you can create and put in your own journals. Was sewn over scrapbook page actually from the paper and I, I just didn't want to cut all of it off so I pulled it over actually on both sides you'll see the opposite side of that too. So fold over Page there, the pockets throughout. All of the paper has been coffee dyed, except for the scrapbook paper, actually. This is actually just a little mini book. I thought it was kind of fun. I don't like to waste my scraps, so put those together. Stamping throughout as well. Hobby Lobby just had that big clearance sale on their stamps. I grabbed some cute spring stamps. And the pockets. I just love this image. So sweet. It's actually double right there. With the envelope there. I did leave some papers longer. Especially when it was had this amazing dyeing on it. So I'm going to fold over. I, I love these spots that are just kind of tucked away and hidden. If you happen to watch my first um, video, I kind of went on and on about how those hidden spots are where I just write kind of heart cries, things that are burdening my heart and that I'm laying before the Lord just praying about and then I know that they're there and I can go back and look at them at later times and just see how God's answered those prayers and how faithful he's been. It's a little envelope that I made and just put a little tag inside of it. This actually folds out. It's probably going to go off screen. It's really long actually the same image I used on the front, but just larger. And a little spot. Yeah, that's the opposite side of that scrapbook paper I was saying. Just sew it on straight through on both sides. And then the back. And I'm finding in the back of my journals that I really love to use a library card pocket in the back for extra paper. And this is just the scraps of some of the scrapbook paper that I cut off and off as well as some of the coffee dye paper. Actually just an extra little tag back here too. But as I'm writing in my journals in like a spot like this, I sometimes will pull 
these papers out and write on them and then tuck them away. But anyways, I hope that gives you some ideas and some inspiration and that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much and I'll be back soon. Thank you.